he felt like over the summer looked a lot different than in the spring. Um, would you agree with that assessment? And if so, you know, what are the ways that, you know, you're different now relative to when we last saw you play? You said I was different? Yeah, that you looked different in the summer workouts relative to, you know, the spring. Oh, that, then I, uh, I mean, yeah, I feel different. You know, I'm proven in everything, mm -hmm. body, basketball, so I feel, I feel good. Yeah. I mean, what was your first um, NBA offseason like? What did you work on? How did you how did you approach it? And what was your what was your focus this offseason? Yeah, um, my my focus was to just be, you know, get a lot better throughout the summer, and I've been really working on you know everything, all aspects of my game, shooting, ball handling, finishing, being a leader, just trying to be um, the best player I can be going through this year. I mean, wanted to ask about your jump shot. Do you feel like you've made strides in that department? Did you have any kind of mechanical tweaks or overloads? Can you kind of talk about your work in that area this summer? Yeah, I definitely made a lot of strides in that. Just um, just finding what works best for me, honestly. And um, working with Ben, Matt McQuaid, and the rest of the Rocket staff, they helped me a lot. Yeah. Coach Yudoka was saying, earlier that uh, he thought you were somebody that they could just plug into pretty much any position on the floor. You have that kind of versatility. Can you talk a little bit about how that in, how that in, uh, impacts your game, how the choices you sort of make? Because, you know, you could be playing center one game, point guard the next game. How do you go about your game that way? I mean, yeah, just whatever the coaches, whatever my team needs for me that day, they need me to be point guard, I can do that. They need me to be center, I can do that in between, so, I mean, I feel like it's a good thing to have that on the team. Brian? I mean, growing up, you and your brother spent so much time together. This is the first time you all have spent so much time apart because, you know, he plays in Detroit, he played here. What was the offseason like just being able to reconnect with your brother? Yeah, the offseason, it was fun, you know. We, went, we both went to Florida, worked out together, played some one-on-ones, you know. Y'all know how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was fun, you know, seeing him. And, um, yeah, I'm excited for him, too. I'm excited for myself, man. Jonathan. Just to follow up on Jeff's question, understanding that you're happy to do whatever is asked, whatever position, what do you enjoy the most? Pick and enjoy. roll, dunker spot, point guard. What what you like? You know, I, love, I love the ball in my hands, but, you know, sometimes that doesn't happen. So it's just what can I do next? to help, help the team. We have so many good ball handlers, so many good off-ball players. You really put me anywhere. Jackson. Hey, man, good to see you again. Uh, what does a successful season look like in your eyes for, for both you personally and for the team as a whole? Sure, for me personally, I want to uh, make all defensive team, you know, most improved player. Um, as a team, just making the playoffs, really, those are like, not just making the playoffs, like thriving in the playoffs, really. That's, I feel like that's the goal, that's what everybody talks about around here, so. Michael. I mean, uh, can we discuss those summer workouts you had with the USA Select team? You joked last week that, you know, there were no hard matchups. How do you think those helped you grow as a player, playing in that environment? Just like building confidence, you see how you go against those guys, those are the best players ever at the USA, so just playing those guys, competing and um, doing what you got to do, I feel like that built confidence going into this year. Yeah. I mean, what do you know about, <clears throat> what do you understand better about uh, the NBA and being an NBA player this year than you did last year? Um, I'm just knowing like NBA games a lot more mental. You know, once you can like conquer that part, and um, tap into your mental, I feel like you can really like do anything. So just, just I went through a lot last year with injuries and sicknesses and getting over that, I feel like that made me stronger as a player and um, as a person, so. Thank you. Last one, Brian. So I asked you this earlier, but now that you've been through the test, you've been through this, have you measured yourself yet? Because once again, it looks like you've grown over the summer. Did you grow? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't measured myself. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't measured myself, so I, I don't know. But I would be, I would be cool, you know. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs>
Thanks, Thanks everyone. Appreciate you.